Here's an unbelievable yet true story of how a retired couple managed to win over $27 million with a simple and effective formula playing the lotto. Jerry and Marge Selby lived in a small town in Michigan. They ran a convenience store for 17 years before retiring. One day in 2003, Jerry walked into the very store they used to own and noticed a marketing brochure for a new state lottery called Windfall. After reading it in less than three minutes, he calculated a loophole that had the potential to make him and his wife a fortune. The years that followed proved to do exactly that. Unlike other lotteries that keep building until there's a winner, once the windfall jackpot reached 5 million and no one had matched all six numbers to win, a roll down would happen. That meant the money rolled down to lower prizes and was split between winners who matched just five, four or three numbers. The prize level for these more common winning tickets would go up by a factor of 10. For example, the prize for matching four numbers would usually pay $100. Now, with the inflated payouts, the same result would pay a massive $1,000. The same situation for matching three numbers, where it would normally pay just $5, had now increased to $50. 64-year-old Jerry, who had a bachelor's degree in math, quickly calculated that if he spent $1,100 on 1,100 tickets, the odds are he'd have one four-number winner that would pay $1,000 and at least 18 or 19 three-number winners that would pay a combined $900. This meant his $1,100 investment would yield a return of $1,900, a tidy profit of $800. Jerry was certain other people would figure out the same loophole and the rules or payouts would be changed, but it appeared nobody had made the same calculations. So he decided to test his theory. When the next roll down was announced, he purchased $3,600 in windfall tickets. Sorting through 3,600 tickets took hours, but it was time well spent. He made a $2,700 profit and this confirmed his math calculations were sound. Feeling a bit more confident, now his theory had been confirmed. The next roll down, he purchased $8,000 worth of tickets and nearly doubled his money. If his wife Marge had discovered the buckets full of lottery tickets, she might have thought Jerry had developed a serious gambling addiction, as he hadn't told her about the mathematically sound loophole he had discovered. One night while sitting around a campfire, Jerry let Marge in on his secret. He was playing the lottery and he knew how to beat it. He had a foolproof system and he had already won over five figures to prove it. Understandably dubious, Marge didn't know how to react. Jerry told her, he wasn't doing anything illegal, he was just playing the game when the odds were in his favour and he knew he was likely to make money, a lot of it. Marge was all in. As it turned out, roll downs would happen every six weeks. Jerry and Marge knew all the convenience store owners in the area having been in that line of business, so they weren't bothered when the Selbys would stand at a lottery machine for hours on end buying thousands of tickets. The strategy became so profitable, the Selbys invited their six grown children to participate. Jerry even went as far as creating a corporation called GS Investment Strategies and sold shares for $500 apiece to friends and neighbours. After 12 weeks of big roll down profits, the windfall lottery was shut down due to declining ticket sales. But a close friend alerted Jerry to another similar windfall lottery in Massachusetts, nearly 700 miles away. The gravy train was back for the Selbys and they made the 700 mile trip to Massachusetts every time there was a roll down. On one occasion, going as far as spending $720,000 on $2 lottery tickets. Jerry and Marge would rent a motel room and go through each and every one of the 360,000 tickets looking for winning numbers. After nine years, the Selbys had grossed over $27 million in winning tickets, giving them a net profit of $7.75 million before taxes. It wasn't until a Boston newspaper started investigating locations where lottery tickets were being sold at an extraordinary volume that triggered an investigation by the Inspector General. But Jerry and Marge had nothing to worry about. They had been playing by the rules. The lottery had worked the way it was designed to work. 
the Selbys had discovered a very lucrative but legal loophole and made the absolute most of it. If you like stories of people beating the house and making money from gambling, then like and subscribe to the channel as we have loads of great stories and gambling related content. For another fascinating true story, watch this video next.